Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. So today I'm trying the Makart Your Nail Lab subscription box and this is for the month of September and this was sent to me as PR so here is the little message that they put in my box and as always you can get your box from yournailab.com. So I'm just going to quickly pull out all the items that you get. My channel is quite big on polygel so Makart usually sends me like the polygel curated box and this is everything I got but I'll go through everything in detail in just a minute. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a jelly stamper. This jelly stamper was really cool. Um, I really liked the little glitter, like glittery stuff that was in it. I think it kind of matched my nails. Um, it also came with like a scraping card, but I'm not sure how I or where I would use that. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. The next thing you get are these nail tips, which come with a little kit to apply them and to prep your nails. And the nail tips themselves were cool. However, I feel like the shape wasn't really for me. I love the length. I think they're a very comfortable length. Um, and I've just recently um, filmed a video like using press on nails this length almost. So um, yeah, this length is really nice and I really do like it. So maybe I'll see if I'll try these nails out and like reshape them or something. So one thing I really like about these boxes is that you do get some type of decorations in every month's box. So um, I feel like this is really good because they always send something different and it's always nice to have a variety of ways to decorate your nails, even if you have some very basic products. So the first thing that you get are these stickers. I was a huge fan of these stickers and I'm really happy I got them because I have nothing like them and they're very pretty and I love butterflies. Next, I also get, got sent these like chocolate charms, which I thought were very nice and these really beautiful glitters. And I used, I believe, the one I'm showing now on my nails today and I absolutely loved it. I think it looks so good and it's definitely giving me like Halloween type of vibes. I'm quickly pulling out one of the charms to show you guys. They're very good sizes too, like very nice sizes for like nails. And this one was a huge one, but it was very pretty and I loved the detail on it as well. So of course you get two poly gels. The ones I got was hip and it's like a nice red and you can kind of almost i feel like at first it was a bit of a jelly but it's definitely very opaque and you also get another one called nightclub and this one it was a reflective i believe this is part of their reflective polygel collection as well so those are what the two shades look like and you also get two gel polishes i'm not sure where i would use the blue one but the purple one was definitely giving me like autumn vibes so i had to use it in today's video so just um as i'm starting to like prep my nails i'm just going to talk a little bit about the box so the box does come in different types of like subscriptions so you can get the monthly box you can get the three month box or you can get the six month box and these boxes usually average in value of like between 60 to 100 dollars so each box I believe it's like $35 a month so you get more for what you pay for and I think it's a very good deal I think you definitely get a good range of products they definitely try to like mix it up every month and I also do like that they kind of curate the boxes to like the seasons but also they give you the option to choose between poly gel gel polish um, acrylic slash dip powder and I don't know if there's something else but um, you do get to like pick your choice of what product you like working with most so that's really nice um, and it's nice to know that that part isn't random because I would hate to receive like acrylic in my box um, and I'm like horrible at acrylic so I'm really glad that I, if I did get this box um, I could pick potentially poly gel so that's really nice so yeah now that I've applied my nail tips I'm just gonna remove the shine I'm using the Makart JD 700 e-file and a fine grit sanding band and I'm just removing the shine really quick I wanted to do a bit of a shorter length today just because I've not done nails in a while I know I've not been um, posting often I'm coming to the end of like school right now so hopefully I'll be having way more content to upload very soon um, so thank you guys for your patience and thank you guys for watching even though i don't post a lot thanks for coming back to my channel um, i really appreciate you so this shade is nightclub and i really like this one i feel like it definitely fits the whole halloween slash autumn vibe and 
I thought it would be really nice to do this shade as a whole nail but also as like an ombre nail as you'll see later but then I decided to cover it up because I forgot to use the glitter so um, yeah this shade was really pretty it is reflective you can kind of see it now um, however you will need to put like shine some flash on it to see it more but overall I feel like Macar has done a very good job with their reflective poly gels and they also have reflective gel polishes which are really nice I did do a review I believe two review videos on that collection so if you want to check it out I will remember to link it in the cards above So I do go ahead and cure each nail for about 30 seconds before I move on to the next one. So the shade I'm using here is A Siesta. This one does not come with this month's box. However, I feel like everyone should have a staple kind of nudie shade in their collection. So if you don't have one, go ahead and grab yourself the Macart A Siesta Nude Poly Gel shade. Personally, I really like it. It's really easy to work with and it's such a nice shade. I feel like it suits a lot of different skin tones and it's just a really good one to have so if you want to buy this you can you can use my discount code nails by Camin, and that will save you 15 percent off at the mccart checkout i believe it's also available on amazon and something else i recommend you get is the clear poly gel which is really important because you will always almost need a clear to do some kind of encapsulation like i did in this video so definitely go ahead and grab yourself one of those too So again, I went and I cured that for 60 seconds and then I'm moving on to my next nail. So for the next nail, I wanted to do, like I said, an ombre with this beautiful black. Um, however, I did change my mind and I ended up adding the glitter on top. I did end up doing two coats of the glitter to actually make it more opaque and to prevent it from like showing the black underneath but actually that just made the glitter pop even more so something that I will definitely be doing now is just adding like two coats of like loose glitter instead of one because I feel like it made all the difference Then just taking that A Siesta shade again, just focusing on creating a nice ombre. Of course, it's not going to be super perfect. Um, sometimes it just isn't with some colors, so don't worry about it. Um, I don't think anyone's really going to notice too much if like your ombre is not perfect. As long as it looks like some sort of transition, of course, work on it and see um, what method works best for you. But personally, I've just learned that the transition is never gonna be like as smooth and as perfect as you want it but um, you know as long as it looks like some sort of transition some some sort of gradient I'm sure it'll be fine so next using this red shade honestly was not expecting it to be this opaque and this bright this shade of red it was definitely giving me like Halloween vibes for sure I kind of thought it would be a good idea to do like some 3D drips using this red today but then I thought I wouldn't be able to use that beautiful purple gel polish so I actually just ended up doing a full nail red and then doing some stitches nail art on top which I think worked out better um, and it shows off the red a lot more I think this red is so beautiful um, definitely I'm definitely going to be using it for more Halloween nails um, the, for the next upcoming months 
so yeah that's gonna be really fun let me know in the comments if there's like any kind of halloween nail set you want me to do or any kind of specific theme that you want me to do um i should be able to film a little bit more now um but honestly we'll see how it goes um but yeah this shade was really really beautiful i really enjoyed it it was really easy to work with it was slightly on the stiffer side but um nothing that was like it wasn't like too hard it was still very easy So once I finished with all the poly gel application, now I'm going to go in with my glitter. I decided to use my Born Pretty as my base just because it's a bit of a thicker consistency. And as you can see, I'm going to tap into the glitter and do one coat. And you guys are going to see like a huge difference between the one coat and the two coat. Um, I feel like the one coat is just like not really bringing out those colors as much um, but then now that I'm doing the second coat it's just really gonna pop and I really liked how it looked in the end because there's like this really pretty purple glitter running through it and I feel like that definitely stood out a lot to me and it was just really it was like so pretty in real life I can't really explain it but it was just a lot pretty pretty in real life if you guys get this month's poly gel kit and you do get this glitter let me know what you think personally i love it i think it's such like a unique glitter it's got orange uh purple i think it's got like some yellow in there and some some other bits i can't really tell it's really fine but overall this glitter was definitely one of my favorites so now like i said before just going in with that clear and just encapsulating this part is really important because you don't want to ruin that glitter so make sure this layer is really going to protect your nail and don't forget to build up your structure as well. So that's what I'm doing here and then I'm going to cure for a good 60 seconds so that all the nails are completely set. Then I'm just going in with some slip solution from Macart and I'm wiping away that sticky layer just using a lint free wipe and this is really important because you don't want to like mess up your hand file or your e-file so make sure that all the stickiness is completely gone and make sure to get the underneath and the free edge of the nail too. So as always, I love my hand filing, so that's what I'm doing today, and I'm using a 100 grit hand file, and I've got my Macart dust collector in the background. I'm going to let you guys watch me file, um, and then I'll get back. So after buffing, I'm just removing the dust. I was planning to buff with cuticle oil because it does come um, 
you do get a cuticle oil in this month's kit i mean this month's box but i did forget so um definitely don't forget to do that if you get this box i have tried buffing with cuticle oil before and it really does work it's like such a nice way to get an extremely smooth surface on your nails so um yeah it's something i actually do when i plan to keep a nail set on for a while i actually like to buff with cuticle oil then i make sure to wipe down the nail and then i apply my top coat and it makes such a huge difference it's honestly just amazing so now i'm doing the top coat this isn't a macart top coat but i'm just you know you can use whatever top coat you have and this is what the nails are looking like so far honestly just really loving that red shade and of course the nude is just perfect with anything and that glitter is just stunning too so so far really happy with the nails but of course it would not be a halloween inspired nails with without some halloween nail art so i decided to do the drips very basic very simple very you know classic halloween nail art so i'm just doing the purple drips and i feel like this purple match really good with the purple in the glitter on the middle finger i feel like it kind of tied the look in a little bit and yeah i was just really happy with it overall so i'm doing the three drips on this finger just because i have more space and this is really easy to do you just kind of do your three dots try to kind of make them um kind of spread out all over the nail don't try to do them in like a row because it will be really cramped together but yeah when you get to the top just kind of connect them as i'm doing so here just kind of connect them and then fill in the rest of the space and something that makes these drips look very realistic is to just um, connect the top of your little circle to the line and i'll show you what i mean in a minute so i'm just going ahead and filling that in first and then here as you can see i'm kind of connecting the top of the circle to the rest of the line and that makes it look a little bit more like a drip rather than just a circle and a piece of and a little string coming from it i guess so yeah make sure you do that because that definitely makes all the difference as well so i'm just going to finish that off and i'm also going to be repeating that to my pinky finger as well So I went and I cured that for a good 60 seconds and then I'm just grabbing some black gel polish on my little thin liner brush. These are from a brand that I've used before by the way. I will link them in the description box below and I do have a discount code with them too. And I'm using the black to just do some stitches. Again, a very easy and simple classic nail design for Halloween. And I'm just doing two stitches on this nail, kind of spreading them out a little bit. Don't want them to be too cramped up. I remember last year when I did, or I believe two years ago when I did um, stitches, I did like a design where there were stitches going all across the nail and it looked like, <laughs> it looked like a lot and I don't know what I was thinking, but um, yeah, I never really uploaded that picture on Instagram, but it was just something I was thinking of when doing this and kind of laughing, thinking why I did that. But just imagine a nail with a bunch of stitches going up in all, go, coming from different like directions. It's just, it was just kind of funny. But yeah, I definitely, I'm going to keep it simple this year and just stick with two. Just do a line and then smaller lines across it and that will give you your really easy and simple stitch pattern. So again, once you're done, don't forget to cure them for 60 seconds. And once that was done, I went in and I applied top coat to only the nails I did the nail art on, just to kind of seal and protect that gel polish. And then I gave them another 60 second cure.
of course last but not least don't forget to apply cuticle oil this is the makat soy cuticle oil i'm not sure if they updated their formula but this one smells really good i think they might have added like a scent to it or something this cuticle oil is really good i have been using it and it's definitely helped my cuticles to improve and be less dry so i'm just rubbing that in really really good and i'm kind of bringing it up a bit i do like to do that too So this is the finished look let me know what you guys think down in the comments personally i really like it like just look at that glitter it's honestly just really pretty and i love the purple like reflexes in it the thumb was also really cute i definitely like to keep my thumbs very simple but yeah let me know what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to check out the Your Nail Lab subscription. I will link it down in the description box below. And of course, don't forget to check out my other videos too. Once again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.